الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد الله تبارك وتعالى advise us in his glorious book in سورة الأعراف chapter 7 verse 52 بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد جئناهم بكتاب فصلناه على علم هدى ورحمة لقوم يؤمنون and we had certainly brought them a book which we detailed by knowledge as guidance and mercy to a people who believe. Now Allah Taala, out of His mercy, He sent us the Qur'an. The universe was enough to guide us to Him, but He wanted us to have additional guidance and instructions on how to live safely and successfully in this life and reach the destination in heaven that He wants His... Uh, his uh, servants to reach. So this book contains everything that you need to be successful. And Allah says, فَصَّلْنَاهُ We put so much detail. There's a lot of detail on how to live, how to interact with people, your relationship with Allah, your relationship with others. It's all in this book. All you have to do is go in and study it and implement it. So, why the denials and the disbelief and ingratitude? And this verse addresses non-believers primarily. Is, you know, this, this is a good book for your benefit. Why are you, you know, fighting it and going against it? You know, it, it is for your own benefit. Why the disbelief? It was sent from the Lord, a Rub, you know, from the Lord who is knowledgeable for what is best. He created us, he knows what's best for us, and he detailed it in this glorious, beneficial book called Al-Quran, and in other revelations that was sent to mankind since Adam till, till today. So all of the, the, the verses are in the book, and it's for our benefit. The second verse, verse 53, begins with a, with a warning. هَلْ يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَّا تَأْوِيلَهُ do they await except its result? Now we have to kind of stop. That's the beginning of the verse. We'll talk about the rest of the verse, inshallah, a little later. So the, the, the verse is addressing the people who do not want to implement the Qur'an. And Allah is saying, what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for these verses to be, you know, ta the ta'wil of these verses to come? And the ta'wil, the meaning is the materialization of the promises and threats that are in the Qur'an. When they become true. So, for example, a believer that lives according to Allah's direction. He is honest. He is pious. He is good to everyone around him. He is steadfast. He lowers his gaze. What does such a person expect from Allah Taala? The verse says in Surah An-Nahl, chapter 16, beginning of verse 97, Allah says, مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مَنْ ذَكَرٍ وَأُنْثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ فَلَنُحِيَّنَّهُ حَيَاةً طَيِّبًا The verse says, whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life. That's what the verse says. So when you apply the verse and you live according to these instructions, and you have a good life and a good reputation, people love you, nobody speaks bad of you, that's the ta'wil of this verse. When you follow the direct Allah's directions, you see His promises coming true. So the, this good life is the ta'wil of the ayah. The good life that a good believer lives is the ta'wil of the ayah. So there are no fear of scandals or destruction because you are following the orders of Allah and Allah takes care of you. He says to be a perfect person, here's what you do. And you're following it. Allah will protect you. And the ones who refuse the guidance, hurt others, you know, they deal with the forbidden. What do such evil people expect from Allah? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Taha, chapter 20, in the beginning of verse 124, 
وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ Who, and whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed he will have a depressed life, a difficult life. So when somebody lives an evil life and he has depressed and depressed life, one problem after another, that's the ta'wil of the ayah. And we see it. We see it. You know, people that hurt others, they end up getting destroyed. And they end up having psychological issues. They're never happy. That's the ta'wil of the ayah. Another verse, Allah says, يَمْحَقُوا اللَّهُ riba wa yurbi sadaqat In Surah Al-Baqarah, in verse, the beginning of verse 276, Allah destroys interest and gives increase for charity. So when you see the wealth that's built on haram, built on usury, built on illegal things getting destroyed, that's the ta'wil of the verse. And the ta'wil will come. And when you see people who give in charity and help others, their wealth increases, that's the ta'wil of the ayah also. So Allah is saying, what are you waiting for? I gave you all of these instructions in the Quran. Are you waiting for the materialization of these verses before you follow them? If you're a believer, you wait for those, but you're waiting in anticipation of reward. But the ones who go against Allah's directives and hurt others and do things they're not supposed to do, all they have to wait for is Allah's threats and disasters to befall them. And if it's not in this life, it's definitely in the hereafter. But Allah promises them in this life and in the hereafter, they will pay for it. So don't wait for the, for the verses to manifest themselves in reality. Heed the warning and protect yourself. So Allah the, the rest of that verse in Surah Al-Araf, هَلْ يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَّا تَأْوِيلُهُ يَوْمَ يَأْتِي تَأْوِيلُهُ يَقُولُ الَّذِينَ نَسُوهُ مِنْ قَبْلِ قَدْ جَاءَتْ رُسُلُ رَبِّنَا بِالْحَقِّ فَهَلْ لَنَا مِنْ شُفَعَاءَ فَيَشْفَعُ لَنَا أَنُوا رَدُّ فَنَعْمَلُ, فنعمل غَيْرَ الَّذِي كُنَّا نَعْمَلُ قَدْ خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ وَضَلَّ عَنْهُمْ مَا كَانُوا يَفْتَرُونَ do they await except its results? It's like, what are we waiting for? Are they waiting for the verses to come true? The day its result comes, those who had ignored it before will say, the messengers of our Lord had come with the truth. They find out the truth, but it's too late. So are there now any intercessors to intercede for us? Or could we be sent back? to do other than what we used to do. This is in the hereafter, when, when people die and they figure out, whoa, we were on the wrong side. Well, it's too late, you can't come back. There is no do-over. There is no, nobody to, to intercede on your behalf. You're done. Allah gave you enough warnings and you chose to ignore the, the verses, the signs of Allah, and now you'll be forgotten in, in the hereafter. Says such people, they will have lost themselves and lost from them is what they used to invent. So Allah Taala in this life does not reward everyone. He rewards some as an encouragement to others. And he will punish some as a deterrence to others. He doesn't punish everyone. The total justice is done on the, in the day of, day of judgment. That's when truly justice will be served. So when you look at somebody who's been living for 20, 30 years, dealing with, you know, hurting others and being successful, don't, you know, don't take that as Allah's verses are not, you know, manifesting themselves yet. Allah, because where are they, where are they, where are they gonna run? If you, you know, if you know and you're in this country, if you do something bad, you can run to another country where the government can't reach you. But where are you going to go from Allah Taala? Time and place does not matter. You can live a thousand years, a million years, you're still in Allah's grip. Where, the end, you're coming back to Allah. That's why he, Allah Taala may give, he, he deals with us with his wisdom. We don't know why some people get destroyed early and some people, it may take 20, 30 years before they get destroyed. We don't know. But the verses and the signs of Allah will manifest itself either in this life or in the hereafter. 
So we can believe in this life and benefit from it. Or find out at the time of death and then, you, you know, you, you've lost the hereafter. There is, there is no benefit in that knowledge. That knowledge is worthless. So belief in Allah and his verses are, and his signs are just a matter of time. It's not a matter of if. Everyone, every human being will believe in the verses of Allah. The difference is some do it early and benefit from it. Some find out like Fir'aun. When, when he was dying, he said, Amen, you know, I, I believe in Allah. Now, now when, when, when you see the angels of, of punishment coming at you, that is not, that is not, that's the ta'wil of those verses coming true, but that's too late. So heed the warnings in the Qur'an before they manifest themselves in reality, either in this life or in the hereafter. Because Allah Taala is al-haq, he is the truth. His words will come true and his promises will come true and his threats will come true. So heed the warning.